Have you heard that scientists have recently invented glow-in-the-dark concrete? And that's not all, they've also created aluminum glass. In this video, I will tell you about the latest and most interesting technologies in construction. And at the end of the video, you will learn the secrets of flexible ceramic granite tiles. Enjoy watching! Robot Bricklayer What if I told you that very soon you won't have to worry about finding a good worker? Nowadays, technology is developing at an incredible pace. Just recently, the latest robot Hadrian X was introduced. It is capable of bricklaying in the shortest possible time. Its speed is simply amazing, as it only takes 20 to 30 seconds per brick. Hadrian X operates thanks to a preloaded 3D model of the building in special software. Thanks to this, the robot can lay brick walls with incredible accuracy. And most importantly, its use reduces construction waste to zero. High precision is achieved thanks to a powerful computer, which accurately calculates where and how the next brick should be placed. The use of cement or special glue is minimized. It is only used in the amount necessary for building walls. I wish such developments would become more widespread soon. Just imagine, you won't have to hire several expensive workers to build your brick walls. At the same time, you won't have to worry about the quality of the work. Using the robot will be much cheaper and the quality of its work will be higher. Outlet tape This video shows another advanced technology that I would like to tell you about. It's a special tape that attaches over the plaster, allowing you to forgo chiseling walls to lay new outlets. The thing is, this material is very thin. It won't protrude at all if you, for example, wallpaper over it. The work of installing outlets this way is so simple that even a child can do it. You won't need to chisel walls, so rebar, replaster and restocker everything. And most importantly, there won't be the amount of dust that always forms during such work. Now it's enough to just stick the tape on the wall, plaster over it and then you can even paint it. But you might object, such material definitely conducts electricity. You don't have to worry. This tape is made like the ribbon cables used in all computers and TVs. The conductive tracks in them are well insulated, so there's nothing to fear. And the insulation material itself is very durable, making it quite difficult to damage. True, there might be limitations to such a solution. When using such tape, it's best not to plug power tools into the outlets. Of course, it all depends on the manufacturer and the characteristics of the material. But honestly, I wouldn't take the risk. If the conductive tracks overheat, your wallpaper could easily catch fire. But all these problems can be easily avoided if you initially plan what, where and how will be connected. And most importantly, this approach will allow you to create a suitable infrastructure in your home. Hemp houses I couldn't ignore another development. Engineers have invented another interesting type of concrete. You'll be shocked, but it includes hemp. But why add some plants to concrete? I'll tell you now. The thing is, the production of classic cement mortar is very toxic. Various chemical elements used in it can cause severe diseases. The use of vegetation completely eliminates this factor. Moreover, concrete with hemp is much more porous. Due to this, the highest thermal insulation characteristics of the new material are achieved. In ancient times, even clothing was made from hemp. The thing is, hemp is very easy to obtain. It grows extremely fast, is widespread and has very good characteristics. Therefore, people thought of using it for construction. The resulting concrete, due to the vegetation, is cheaper than classic options and also more flexible. The combination of all these parameters is highly valued in the construction world. Plastic houses Nowadays, people have started to seriously think about what to do with all the waste produced by humanity. One of the solutions is its recycling and reuse. These ideas could not bypass even the construction industry. Many companies are now working on developing their homes from recycled plastic and other waste. But did you know that the first plastic houses appeared in the USSR? The Soviet Union is known for its interesting scientific projects. As part of the research into the latest construction technology, scientists built an entire house. It was made entirely of plastic. It was assumed that this material, which is much cheaper than concrete, would soon replace classic construction methods. An experimental model house was even inhabited by a test family to check all the indicators of this building. The results were staggering. The thermal insulation of the plastic house was excellent. It easily resisted moisture, so bad weather had no effect on such a structure, and the cost of the experimental model was very low. However, during testing, problems were discovered that had not been previously considered. For example, in the house built in the USSR, there was a big problem with sound insulation. You could hear literally everything that was happening on the second floor. 
even how your neighbor sleeps. Another problem appeared in the winter. At the joints of the plastic walls, windows, doors and roof, gaps begin to form through which moisture and cold air easily entered the house. Because of all these shortcomings, the ambitious project was abandoned in the USSR. Nowadays, the idea of plastic houses has not gone anywhere. A fairly large number of companies are working on their developments in this direction. All that remains is to hope that with the latest technologies, engineers will be able to solve all the problems that Soviet scientists encountered. Solar shingles People continue to talk about ecology everywhere. When I was looking for information for this video, I discovered a huge number of new technologies closely related to it. For example, in home construction, more and more thought is given to creating a system for generating clean electricity. One such option has been the use of solar panels. But why mount huge plates on the roof that will stand out and spoil the appearance of your house, when you can use special timber-lined solar shingles? They look just like classic materials, but they generate electricity. The project team solved a huge number of problems associated with the use of this technology. The main challenge was how to ensure the panel's safety in harsh weather conditions. After all, it won't always be sunny outside. Shop temperature fluctuations, high humidity, water and snow – all this is very detrimental to electronics, as you may know. The Timberline Solar project solved all these issues. Another advantage is that you don't have to make the whole roof out of this material. The panels can be installed over classic shingles. This avoids unnecessary expenses that would inevitably arise from the irrational use of solar panels. Glow in the dark cement At the very beginning, I wanted to tell you about a new development. Glow in the dark cement has caused a real sensation in the market of construction technologies. It's also called Luma cement for the properties it possesses. The material can accumulate sunlight during the day and then glow in the dark. Naturally, this technology immediately began to enjoy great popularity. In some countries, Luma cement is used for road surfaces and markings, making it easier for drivers to navigate at night. In other countries, the material is used for interior decoration. Tiles using glow-in-the-dark cement allow for unimaginable design solutions. Creating glow-in-the-dark cement turned out to be quite simple. It consists of just a few components. First comes naturally the cement itself, gypsum, or any other binding material. Then luminescent powder is added, which is responsible for glowing in the dark. Finally, various additives are included, giving different qualities to the luma cement. For example, if you need to make sidewalk tiles, it's best to add plasticizers. They increase the strength and flexibility of the material. The main advantage of the glow in the dark cement is that it can even be made at home. You only need the components that go into it in the right proportions. Probably that's why Luma Cement has won such great interest in the market. Laser scanning Continuing the theme of the latest technologies and developments, I could not fail to mention the use of special laser scanners. They allow for the creation of a full-scale, high-quality 3D model of a space in the shortest possible time. But why is this even necessary? I'll tell you now. Thanks to a 3D model of your home, you can easily plan where to place furniture, what color the walls will be, or what material to use for the floor. Nowadays, such scanners are even available in phones. For example, the iPhone has a special sensor called LiDAR. It allows the phone to accurately determine the distance to an object, thereby forming a clear model of the space. Special apps even allow you to place furniture in your home using augmented reality. Professional solutions, in turn, provide a photorealistic model of your space. This means that the designer can accurately select materials and colors that will suit your interior. And if you have an Apple phone, you can try this wonderful technology right now. I've already chosen a wardrobe for my home using it. Transparent aluminum What if I tell you that metal can be transparent? Yes, I was shocked too. While searching for information about new technologies, I stumbled upon an interesting development that will probably soon change the world. Aluminum oxynitride is the latest ceramic material, and most importantly, it combines several seemingly incompatible features. It can transmit up to 80% of light, and its strength is four times higher than that of tempered quartz glass. Isn't that a miracle? But how is such glass produced? Actually, it's quite simple. Transparent aluminum is made by sintering, like any other ceramic material. A special powder with high aluminum content is poured into heat-resistant graphite or quartz molds and then sent to a special furnace. Inside, a high temperature and a nitrogenous environment are maintained. The material is kept there until it melts. The heating continues until combustion. 
The enormous strength of the material immediately suggests its use in particularly dangerous places. For example, such glass could be in demand in armored vehicles or cars of state leaders. The glass can easily protect a person not only from bullets but even from explosions. Such glass would make excellent screens that protect people, for example, from fires. And now panoramic glazing of a house will be much stronger. The only downside to this latest development is its price. This material is quite expensive, as it requires special production lines and furnaces. So perhaps not everyone will be able to afford such glass in the near future. We can only wait for it to become more affordable. Flexible tile Finally, I'd like to tell you about a remarkable development by scientists, which is great for both facade and interior decoration. In Italy, this material has already gained popularity, and its name is Curlite. Curlite is a flexible porcelain stoneware tile. How is that even possible? Easily. Essentially, these are very light ceramic tiles of small thickness. They are made by pressing porcelain stoneware mass and reinforcing the product with a fiberglass mesh. After firing, the material acquires special strengths, comparable to natural stone. And don't think that such a material will differ significantly from classic porcelain stoneware tiles. Colite is just as high strength and very wear resistant. It is not afraid of high humidity or low temperatures. It can easily be placed in your bathroom. Another feature of colite is that it contains a special antiseptic. This makes the material resistant to fungi. Installing such tile is a pleasure. Colite can be easily cut with a glass cutter. Also, no cracks or chips occur during drilling, and it can be installed on any surface using glue, screws or even double-sided tape. The service life of flexible porcelain stoneware tile is up to 30 years, and the abundance of color solutions allows you to choose the most suitable design for your interior. The only downside to this material is its size. Such tiles are always sold large. The fact is that the bending radius of colite reaches 16 feet and making small tiles from this material is pointless. And another disadvantage is the comparatively high cost. Colite is two to three times more expensive than classic porcelain stoneware tiles. These were the latest building technologies that I found especially for you. Thank you for watching.